Hi everyone, Kason and I just got back from the mail. We have all the new releases for July to show you. We're super excited. Here's the first one, Baby's Very First Slide and See Nighttime Book. We love this series. On every page, I there's- I love that book. I know, there's a different slide on every page that you can move. It's very interactive. The pages are nice and glossy and colorful. I love, I love all the books. All about I, nighttime. I love the sticker books. And look, there's the moon and the little stars. So this one is perfect for little exploring fingers. Here's the very first book in this series they've just come out with. It's the Baby Board Book series. And it's called Shh, One, Two, Buckle My Shoe. We actually have this as a picture book. So here's the size difference. This one's all paper and this one is just thin cardboard pages. So perfect for little hands to discover and look around. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, knock at the door. It's a nice play on the little rhyme. And then it also has all the numbers so you can teach them to count to 30. Then we have the Maya, which is a new book in the beginner series. Who were the Maya? Where did they live and what did they eat? Why did they build such tall stone temples? And then you'll find out all this information and more. There's lots of very cool illustrations, real life pictures. We just love this series so much. There's so much to learn from it. Then we have a practice pad, spelling. We also have this um, in addition and multiplication and maybe division, I can't remember. Um, but this one's all about spelling. So this one is so perfect for kids to do in the summer. Really great way for them to keep up on their schoolwork. Summer slide is a real thing. Kids can learn lose up to like two months of their education um, in the summer when they, when they aren't keeping up with reading and doing kinds of stuff like that. So any of these books would be perfect for that. Look how shiny and glossy this unicorn book is. This is the Sticker Dolly Dressing Unicorn. So lots of different scenes that you can explore and put stickers on. And I love that each page has like a little blurb, like a little bit of a story that you can read along with it. And then here's all the stickers in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at this one. I, I want to keep the... I want to keep the fruits and vegetables sticker book and this one. Okay, little first stickers summer. So this I one has keep over three. The keeping book pile. Over three, they're all keeping books. Three hundred reusable stickers. So look at all the different scenes. There's on the beach. Are you looking? At the park. Summer picnic. There's just a whole bunch of different pictures that you get to fill in. Look at they're at the park. And here's all the stickers that you get to put on. And I don't know if I said it, but they are reusable, so that's cool. What? Then, what's this one? I don't know. Telling Time. It's a white plane telling time book for ages you 7 to 8. You forgot to say the, the time. Yeah, Telling the Time. So, perfect learning book. Lots of cool information. There's a little parent guide at the back to help you help your children. So if you haven't seen these before, you just use the marker, do the activity, and then wipe it clean. This one looks amazing. Never get bored book. This is going to save my life this summer because my kids often get bored. We live in the middle of nowhere, and sometimes you have to make your own fun. So here we go. It has like 128 pages or something. Oh, see how many boards in these. All of these different. the first page. Just a second. All of these are different activities. To keep your kids from getting bored. Perfect, perfect, perfect for the summer. Oh, I need that book. With no, them. just hang on. Now we're going to show this one. The Nature Journal. I want to call it... I love a... I want to call it Torno. Well, he thinks that looks like a T, so he calls it Torno. <laughs> so it's pretty plain and simple. It's basically just a lot of blank pages. There's a few little nature type things in there um little bits of information there it's like talking about a leech <laughs> so just a nice little book to keep your summer memories in guys is this the summer 
Oh, are you following on me? Cinderella Magic Painting. This is perfect for, I, I would keep referring to summer because it's almost summer here, or it is summer, um, for having in your camper. It's a storybook, but it's also a magic painting. So you just paint with water. It's clean. There's no mess. You just dig out the water. You can read all about Cinderella and watch the pictures come to life when you just add the water. I'm not saying I do. Who's up in the air? This is from the Usborne Baby Book series. Is it the little bear? Who's up in the air? Uh, the, the doggy. There's the doggy. So every page has different questions. The pages are so glossy and colorful. Let's see. Who's holding a net? Bobby the bear. Whose feet are wet? <laughs> You're right. So lots of fun little pages of things that you can talk about. Look at one on this one. I know, you can sit and look at it. <laughs> then we have lots of different crossword books, but this is the first word search book that I've seen Esborn have. It's all about sports, and it's going to be perfect. We're headed off on a road trip tomorrow, so I'm definitely bringing that along with us. Well, I'll do that book with you after. Woodland. This is so beautiful. We uh, love okay. nature. I want Woodland. You don't say woodwinds, woodland. Oh, sorry, woodland. Um, it has all sorts of information about nature, basically. Look at, there's a nice little guide in there that guides you through all the pages. Look at Kason. Look at. You get to see all out in the woods. Here's summer in the woodland. Look how tall the tree is. That is very tall. So look at, just very pretty. There was one page in here that specifically caught Kaysen's attention, and that was this one. Look at this. Footprints. Who's your favorite? Which one do you like? What is it? Rabbit footprints. Pretty cool. Then we have one of my most favorite things that Usborne sells. Book and jigsaw. So here's the jungle one. It comes with a it comes with a hundred piece puzzle and a puzzle book that you can do. It's kind of like a look and find book. You probably can't see because of the way I have it, but way up there we have like all the Usborne puzzles. They're just my favorite. I always compared them to like a Melissa and Doug. I compare it to Melissa and Doug because the pieces are nice and thick and sturdy and durable. They're all keepers. They're all keepers. My very first series is awesome. Is we have a whole bunch. We have a whole bunch over here. What's this book called? It's such a great introduction to how life has changed throughout time. 10,000 years ago. 3,500 years ago. 2,500 years ago. And then it goes all the way up to present and it just shows just basically like how how the world has changed and how people have changed it's a very cool introduction book and I don't it is thin Mom, cardboard pages uh, I can't stop my video so you're just gonna have to hang is on for one second be another keeping pile? oh yeah we're not getting rid of the puzzle don't you worry this Halloween activity book looks so much fun it's packed full of puzzles mazes Dot to dots, just all sorts of activities, drawing, there's stickers in it. This whole series is really great. This is just the Halloween themed activity book. Ooh, what do we got next? My, my, the one, the, the one that I picked, Look Inside Nature. Yeah, you love Look Inside Nature. So, we haven't really looked much at it, but it has nature spotting, bugs and butterflies, making a den, from a tiny seed, busy birds, around the pond, on the rocks. It has over 80 different flaps. So it's very cool. We, we just learn all bits of different types of information from these books. And the flaps make it so much fun. You have a text. No, that's a phone. So my favorite page so far is this one. It's very neat to look inside different animals' homes. Like look at those little beavers. Hard at work in their den. It's a fun, fun book. 
Then we have two Rudyard Kipling tales. We have Why the Kangaroo Jumps. That's a big picture book. And we also have How the Camel Got His Hump. We just love the illustrations in these books. Then we have some more sticker books. Sticker Dolly Dressing Dogs and Puppies. This one has over 250 reusable stickers in it. So very basic scenes that you get to then put all of the stickers into. Oh my goodness, my phone is going crazy. There's all the stickers and you can go in and put them on and then change them up anytime you want because they're reusable. This one is my favorite sticker book that we got. Fruits and Vegetables. So it has all about fruit, how fruit grows in the greenhouse, all about vegetables, vegetable patch at the market. There's lots of um, matching shapes, but lots of information. They're such good learning books. So on this page, add stickers in the correct order to show how a tiny seed can grow. So here's the information, and then you have to find the matching sticker that goes along with it. I'll go find them. So there are the stickers that you have to put in order. This is a book I wouldn't just hand case in. I would want to sit and do it with them so that we can talk about all the different things that are happening. Just such a great learning opportunity here. So this is the fruit and vegetable sticker book. And then the very last book that I have is the human body picture book. On the back it says, what is blood for? What do muscles look like? How many bones does the body have? This book is packed with illustrations showing organs, bones, x-rays, and scans to help you build a complete picture of the human body and how it works. So it's very awesome. The body is such an amazing thing. And there's so much to learn from it even. Oh, upside down. So this is really great. So yeah, that is the Human Body Picture Book. And those are all the new releases for July. So if you have any questions or you want to see anything up close or more, just let me know and I'll grab it out for you. Have a great day.